all this is isha here from isha's crafty site and today i have a very quick uh, video share with you all i hope i can make it quickly um because uh, it's many things and i want to share it way in a very short time okay so uh, i have created a christmas gifting um, basket and uh, uh, I am gonna assemble it and show you with you all I'm gonna show you what I have done or what I'm gonna add into it okay so first of all um, I have uh, wanted to share this see um, this is one of the serving uh, bowls or trays you get at dollar tree and i took this and when i saw this i thought that this would be perfect because um i have uh, some people at my um at my husband's office whom i have to i wanted to give a lot of things so you know uh, like they they like my handmade stuff so i usually make them gifts so um i thought that this would be perfect and what did i do was that i had got these uh, glittery beautiful ribbon uh, um, at uh, AC Moore um, and so I just covered the scene it uh, of this bowl with the red uh, this glittery ribbon okay so I tried to take this off but it didn't come out I, I think I'm gonna put a poinsettia or something over there to cover the sticker uh, so uh, yeah so that's the bowl and then what I did was first of all I would like to share with you all the card I created so this is the card look it's an easel card as usual um, I just created everything last night and I'm, I'm just quickly sharing with you all today because uh, my husband's gonna take this away <laughs> today and I was like oh I wouldn't be able to share so I'm quickly sharing this with you all so this is an easel card I made I used the same studio um, roast uh, viral studio uh, printed panel uh, for my uh, image and this is a beautiful elephant with standing near the Christmas tree in ice and you can see the reflection of both so it was so so pretty and very very cute isn't it so i added the image there i have used my martha stewart uh, edge punch to make this white border for it then i have used this flat back pearl over here um this paper is uh, from um one of the paper from noel this one this collection over here so i have used that uh, designer paper here and my flat back pearls and i also extended the image with red cardstock here and the base is also the red cardstock and for the flower cluster i just arranged all different things i got a lot of uh, floral christmas floral peaks uh you know when i was doing my black friday shopping because i wanted to create uh, do a lot of cards so these uh, glittery leaves are from one of the fl uh, christmas peaks uh, floral peaks and then i have this poinsettia here and then i layered it with the white daisy um i got oh, this is i think a wild orchid craft flower and then over here also i have some of the floral peaks um these are the christmas berries uh, you get the cranberries you get in the peaks and these are the leaves from the same uh flower or right flower peak and i added this beautiful white uh, beads you know this was also a floral peak and i will quickly share with you all what how does that look like see this one so I just uh, took out one one bead and I have arranged it all around like that. So this is how my card looks. The inside is also very simple. It's just a sentiment area. And I have this trim again to just match with the top over here. And it will make a stopper. So that's my card. I'll have the close-up pictures at the end. So I'm going to add this card here. Okay. I put it for a while like that then what I create I um, then I created um, a Christmas ornament so that's the Christmas ornament I created see I wanted to make a very holiday theme like thing okay so I have all reds and greens in this basket so I I took one of those transparent uh, 
uh, ornament you get and then at the end over here uh, I put the snowflake ornament like that and I love how it looks see and added uh, this uh, I had got this organza trim uh, and I made a bow out of it and added uh, some red same ribbon over here at the end and some pearls going out here and a jingle bell there and a red rose okay to make the center of all the things i also covered the cap of uh, this ornament with red and i added a lot of berries uh, inside the ornament so that it could get a red and white effect and so that's my Christmas ornament I'm gonna add into this basket like that um, then I created this beautiful praying candle um, I had seen Arthi was Arthi Archer um, here on YouTube she showed that it cre uh, altered the praying candle using the tissue so I thought that idea to be very cool and I used this vintage uh, rose uh, napkin I had my stash just mosh podge it I'll, I'll show it this way I mosh podge it on this praying candle and see it looks so pretty so so beautiful and uh, I added the same ribbon over here and to match everything at the points that are there some beads at the center and the organs are bow and this is also from the same floral peak a christmas floral peak very golden but uh, um, I didn't have something light so I had to put that there and it looks very holiday themey so I like it okay so I'm adding a prayer candle there um, then I created this um, uh, I just altered a tray a small tray see I added uh, to make everything a set I added the same napkin and watch podge it inside and also at the sides of the tray you know and I love how it turned out see at the back also I have my handmade by Isha stand there and it looks so pretty i love 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 it i'm definitely gonna make one for my house too and then i used my flat back pearls to make this border okay so i'm gonna add this tray here and to the tray i'm gonna add this cute little um um scented candles i just made a small itty bitty bow of the same organza trim uh organza ribbon i'm sorry on both the candles and i've added the scents over there it's an hot apple pie and this is spiced apple cinnamon okay so these are the two uh, scented candles i'm gonna add in this tray i'm gonna make this a bit standy like that then uh at last uh, i'm gonna add some jingle bells uh, to my gifting basket and those are this this is a, i love this you know i i seen this in a store and i thought this this are perfect this is i think a, a door hanger okay a door hanger um bell or something like that see i have to fix this <laughs> so uh i thought this was cute and it would go perfect with the whole basket so i'm gonna put that there okay before putting i have to fix it up yes. and then i'm gonna add the card here like that and how to put it i think i'll put this like that and i'll put the card the card should be the focal point for me <laughs> so this way yeah see this looks nice so i'm gonna arrange this like that i hope you can see it and then i'm gonna use the wrap uh, the transparent wrap i have got and i'm just gonna uh, wrap it up and uh, use a blow dryer to shrink it in and then uh, add a ribbon this ribbon bow and i'll have the pictures of completed gifting basket how does that look okay i hope you all have liked uh, this idea and uh, um, i hope 
uh, the person who's getting this would love it and if you like my videos um, please do subscribe and I really really read everybody's comments I um, reply to all your comments and I'm really waiting for your comments so please do comment and do let me know what do you think about this gifting basket okay guys have a very very happy holidays and I hope you all will get a lot a lot of gifts this year and have all your wishes come true see you guys later with a new crafty project bye now the pictures are coming bye